Hello all, I'm Sai and you're watching The Book Dragon. In today's video, I'm bringing to you my July reading wrap-up. Okay, July was not such a great reading month for me. I just managed to read 10 books of which most of them are really short. But um, I think 9 of the 10 books that I read were good. The one was the one which was a miserable disaster and it put me in the slump and also certain other things. I also watched a show which I'll be talking about at the end after the books. So if you're interested in the show, you can watch the video after I talk about the books because this is uh, predominantly about books. So, okay, we'll get into the wrap-up. First book which I finished in July is Speed Reading. How to double or triple your reading speed in just one hour by Inspire 3 Publishing. This was available for free in Prime Reading last month. I'm not sure if it is available right now. You can just check it out if you want to. And it is, such, it's, it is a very short book. I think it's just 50 pages long. And it doesn't even take that much time to read. Um, the things that have been said in this book are really good. How, uh, What are the things you can follow and what are the things you have to avoid in order to improve speed reading if you're trying to i was trying to speed read at the time i was reading this book but currently i'm not i just want to take things slow now because of the slump and uh, it was a really useful book and i also have a video uh, featuring all the techniques that were said in this book i'll try to link it up in the i card so you can check it out if you want to and it was a really good book guys i'm not going to give star ratings for any of the books in this wrap up because it's a bit of a mess so i'm not going to give star ratings so if you're interested in speed reading do try this out the next book in my wrap-up is The Nameless Relationship by Preeti Shanoi. Now this was also a book from Prime Reading and it is the shortest of all the books that I've read this year I think. It's just uh, 13 pages long, okay sorry 13 or 14 pages long and it was a really different story. It was not even a short story, it was it was so small just as you can see from the num uh, page count itself. It is about this affair between a lady who's 40 plus years old and a guy who's just 20 plus years old and uh, how they manage the relationship that's why the nameless relationship it is toxic it's not a healthy relationship okay and it's mostly based on sexual desires and the things that have been experimented within the 15 pages of this book were different okay i liked that a lot and if you're a person who's interested in such uh, relationship dynamics then i'll uh, suggest you to try this because it will not, not even take you half an hour to read and it was also available for free in prime reading i think it's been available in prime, prime reading for a very long time and i just picked it up last month it was a good book you can try it out if you want to the next two books are the ones which i featured in my 24 hour reading blog and the first one of those is asylum by madeline rooks now this is a young adult or middle grade you can consider it anyway i think it's prominently young adult uh, it's an young adult horror story but it doesn't feel like an horror at all uh, except for like a small chunk of the book uh, this is about a guy who goes to summer training in a place and in the city in a place and here there is this uh, asylum near to the place where there is his hostel and there are like multiple things that are going on creepy it actually reads more like a contemporary story rather than like a horror story the elements of horror are so subtle but when they come they are a bit okay okay but uh, i don't think there were like many things that were handled well in this book if you're uh, just looking for something so easy to read and a bit creepy then i'd uh, recommend you to read this one because it is good but it is not that great the next book which i finished is negotiation by brian tracy now this is a non-fiction self-help book uh, i've read a few brian tracy books before this one and in this one also brian tracy gives out 12 uh, 21 uh, techniques or uh, rules or methods that you can follow in order to betterly ne uh, sorry negotiate in a better way in your life and uh, get things done for you negotiation is one of the best skills that you have to learn and i think if you if you learn or know how to negotiate uh, you can get almost everything that you want in your life and there's certain things that they were said in this one they are like purely for negotiation you cannot think of anything else rather than just negotiate negotiation uh, while reading this book because it purely focuses on that one alone and not on any other aspect when it comes to success or life and i did appreciate for uh, it for that a lot and all the 21 points were so fresh i didn't feel them uh, repetitive in any way and i also liked this one a lot the next book which I read is The Black Flamingo by Dean Atta. Now, this is an LGBTQ book about a gay boy. Okay, uh, He's so openly gay, everyone accepts him and his life is good. But uh, even though uh, everyone accepts and everyone knows uh, about him around him, uh, there are certain things uh, because he's biracial. Okay, He's not even biracial, he's more than biracial. His parents are biracial and as a result of that, he's like he belongs to like three to four different races and that's something which 
was uh, very well experimented in this book and also the sexuality of the guy it was good the friendships of him um, how to say there are like kinships rather than friendships right when it comes to uh, very close friends that was handled very well in this book and i like it for that it was a really short book uh, it's also written in verse i actually like uh, listening to or reading books in verse because um, i don't know why because they just uh, read a bit better as well as easy and i like this one a lot so if you are uh, looking for uh, out for a prose book an lgbtq book or a good contemporary book i'll uh, recommend you this one highly because it was really really good the next book is the one which is the best of all which i read in july and i'm sure that uh, nothing else bit this for me i even read the uh, reread the fault in our stars last month but uh in front of this that was not big for me and i'm sp- uh, speaking about pony in selvan volume 2 by amarat kalki Okay. I read this in Tamil. It's also available in English, so you can try it out if you want to. Uh, I just love this series a lot, guys. Uh, I thought that I forgot a lot of things from the first book because it's been a long time since I read it. It's been over five months uh, between the first book and the second book for me. But all the characters remained as fresh as they were in the first book for me in my mind. So it was easier for me to get into the story. And also, this is much better, much fast moving. I actually uh, sat and read this entire thing in uh, two days, I think, and it was. awesome okay it was just awesome and there are certain songs which are written throughout the story and the words descriptions the character descriptions the places the religion that's been experimented okay it's actually historical fiction so we actually get the real history of tamil nadu put in with a lot of fictional elements there is a bit of a uh, twang of magic here and there there's a lot of action lot of action uh, a lot of tension also there are these two female characters who are like rivals for each other and every time they came into the scene uh, i i can feel myself like cutting the t- uh, tension within that <laughs> room because it was so thick and i just loved the story for that itself and i'm also planning to uh, continue with the series uh, as much as i can and uh, finish reading it by the end of this year because it is such a great great series guys and if you can read tamil please do go and uh, read it in the original language if you cannot uh, cannot read tamil or if you don't know tamil it's okay because it's available in english also you can try it out uh, it is such a great story and i think that everyone needs to read this as a whole next book which i finished is hero by ronda burn this is a non fiction book but it reads like a fiction because uh, ronda burn she takes out different people four to six people uh, from different walks of life from different parts of the world and their success stories how they became the heroes of their own lives and she puts them together in order to make us understand what we can do and what we can think in order to make ourselves the hero of our lives okay this these things uh, they might sound a bit difficult uh, while i tell them but if you try reading this book i'm sure that you'll understand how easy and uh, how much doable all these things are and i think i'll uh, i learned a lot from this there's also an indian character so uh, i think you can resonate with that a lot because i related with that character in this book they are all real people they are not fictional people okay uh, they are people in flesh and blood to whom these uh, success stories actually happened and it is a lot inspiring while uh, reading and i'll uh, highly uh, suggest you to try this if you are in a down mood because i read this when i was in a very bad state of mind and it helped me a lot and i'm sure that it will help you a lot also the next book which i finished is the second book in the million Tril- million name trilogy which is the girl who played with fire by steve larsen uh this took me quite a bit of time to read because of the size and also uh, there's a lot of build up in this book rather than the first book okay the first book is mostly about action and uh, how the characters come together the introduction of the characters the introduction of the setup uh, the politics that's surrounding this world all these things but in this one we experience to get uh, sorry we get a lot more of the back story of the characters especially the main character who's lee spitzlander that is the girl with the dragon tattoo uh, i cannot imagine how she is able to go on with her life after experiencing such horrible horrible things okay it is possible to get past all those things but it also requires a lot of courage and confidence in order to do that and i don't just get how she does that and she does it in the best way okay uh, how to say this character is one who can go in an extreme way due to the uh, faults of the society that have been caused on her and i just like this book for that element itself and i also have a dedicated review for this one as well as the first book uh, you can try it out if you want check it out if you want to because it was such a good book and if you are looking for a good thriller i'll uh, highly recommend you the first book and also if you want to get to know a lot about the main character in the thriller then i'll highly recommend you this one because it was a really good book the next book which i read in july is a read and it is the fault in our stars by john green okay i didn't end up uh, rereading uh, harry potter books because i was not able to okay i didn't want to uh, 
force myself and uh, read it in a mood when I didn't want to because I want to enjoy the story. Um, and this one, The Fault in Our Stars, it was better the second time when I read it. I thought that I will be uh, looking into things critically and I'll be like nagging at things that this doesn't make sense. And this is so much for uh, just a relationship with a, uh, such a short time, but it was not at all like that. I liked it even more the second time. Uh, and I'm sure that if you have not read this, you have to read this and you have to experience this story as a whole. There are also like two movies out now and uh, I made a video for that also which is out there. And it has been going uh, well guys. I think people like that kind of content and I like this one a lot. I like this one more uh, actually this time. And if you have not tried The Fault in Stars, you have to try it because if you don't, you're going to miss a lot in your life. The last book which I finished in the month of July is... The Subtle Art of Not Giving a F by Mark Manson, okay? Now, this was the thing which just spoiled everything for me, okay? I read it on like after, just after the 15th or 16th of July and after that I was not at all able to read anything because it was, it made me hate reading for quite a while because it was not at all good, guys. I also have a video on that one. I'll try to link that also in the iCard because it was not a good book. It was not a good book. If you're a beginner, you can try it. But if you're not a beginner, please don't try the book. Because it doesn't have that much and I don't think it is that much worth the hype because there's just a lot of effort and there's nothing else in that book if you ask me. It's not motivational, it doesn't give you anything that you can take back for your life and I think it's a big scandal of uh, promoting this book to such a great extent that it is right now and I don't think it uh, deserves that much, that much attention because there are like more... Uh, how to say a lot lot more uh, greater books out there which will help you a lot i also recommend two books similar to this one but better uh, way better than this one in that video so you have to check it out if you want to know about those books because they were great and that's all for uh, today if you did enjoy watching this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it to your friends if you want to get more content from me do subscribe to the channel don't forget to uh, let down the books which you read in the month of july in the comments below because i'd like to know about them a lot thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day